Sayyidah. <coughs> With pronounced at the lotus feet of Bhagawan, dear brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you few of the presentations made by students of Sri Satchasai educational institutions. You must have heard children from Satchasai higher secondary school making their presentation, students from the undergraduate courses giving their presentation, and postgraduate students also offering their presentation to the lotus feet of Swami. As some of the points are quite interesting, I wanted to share them with you. I am glad that you could make it up to be here with us this morning. I just make some random choice of the points and bring to your attention, rather report to you in verbatim because certain things are valuable which are of general interest. Therefore, I am trying to bring forth that to your attention. This is the presentation made on 29th of February 2004. This presentation is made by the undergraduate students of Sri Satchasai Institute of Higher Learning. Every presentation involved most of the students, yes. Because some students are busy in making the script, some are ready in making the music and playing different instruments, and some actually participate in the, in the small skit enacted in front of every one of us. With the result there is mass participation, almost all students are involved. And that's where at a time when they are be leaving the institution, the last chance given to them is most precious. And our good Lord also had photographs with them, group-wise, which, which they'll cherish lifelong. Adding to that, prasadam distribution also is made. That will make their mouths sweet as they sweeten our ears and eyes with their presentation. Well, this is on the 29th of February program. <coughs> Mind you, that these are all presentations made by different students. One student started speaking like this. We start searching for God on the mountain tops, and we think God is there in heavens, and we search for Him in valleys, and in caves. And where is God? Immediately answer came from another student who said, God is now here. God is now here. So you don't have to search for Him anywhere. And immediately other boy started asking a question. After all, why do you need Him? Let's leave God comfortably to Himself. Why do we need Him? You are expecting any boons to be granted? Then came the answer, no, 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 no. Only two are most precious for humanity, which God alone can give. What are they? Peace and bliss. Then immediately came reply from another student, because these boys have been hearing Swami's talk since their childhood. Every fellow is full of... Uh, awareness and knowledge of Swami's teachings. We'll have some other session that the jokes that boys cut on spiritual lines. Yes. The other boy is talking time started speaking like this. Why do you say that God should give you peace? No, no, no. Why do you expect God to grant you peace? No, no, you are wrong. Is it not Swami who said that peace is within you? Is it not Swami who said that everyone starts praying to God, I want peace? What, after all, what you should do is drop the I, the ego, 
and drop the want desire and peace is already there that's what the other boy said a good question indeed and then immediately he said all right what is it bhagwan expects from us the other student started answering this way bhagwan wants us to give up our bad habits that i should be a personified goodness we should not have any bad habits that's what one boy said the other boy started giving reply this way habit h a b i t you cannot throw away bad habits bit by bit no throw it away immediately once for all and he started making a pun on this word h a b i t habit remove h a bit remains remove a there is bit remove b it remains remove i t remains and the habit of drinking tea remove give up that habit also <coughs> it's a really good joke everybody enjoy including swami and the boy started recalling from bhagwan's discourses swami said that one should serve one's own parents make their parents very happy please them do what else that you can do as well for all the trouble they have taken to bring you up to this stage naturally you should be very grateful to your parents and you can never pay your debt of gratitude to your parents impossible then another student said how to express gratitude to parents what did baba say as she could bear the pain of suffering for nine no long months as the child was in the womb of the mother it is the duty of the child to see that she doesn't have to shed a single tear later in her life every child should see the mother should never cry that mother should never be put to suffering that mother should never shed tears that you know meaning we should make her happy that is the only way of expressing the gratitude then another boy said the same swami said another point what is it having been born in this life we should lead our life in such a way that we should not be born again <coughs> that this life is final that we should not be born and again die we should not repeat this cycle of birth and death that's what adi shankara said in bhajagovindam punarapi jananam punarapi maranam पुनरपी जननी जटरे संयनम मैन इज बॉर्न अगेन अगेन एंड अगेन बर्थ इज फॉलोड बाई डेथ सो वी शुड लीड अवर लाइफ इन सच अ वे एज नॉट टू बी कॉट इन द कॉप वेब और इन द साइकिल ऑफ बर्थ एंड डेथ सो वॉट शुड यू डू रिमेंबर वन थिंग इट इज अ माइंड विच इज कॉज for bondage and the liberation if you master your mind if you master your mind and be a master mind you don't have to get into this cycle of birth and death master your mind and be a master mind then another boy said he laughed and said oh i am reminded of one incident that happened there in brindavan what was the incident you know brindavan and puttaparthi equally these places have sufficient number of monkeys a menace to the place robbing your coconut or fruits or plantains that you carry sometimes don't get out of the corridors so number of monkeys are here and it so happened there in brindavan one savadal savadal man holding a stick trying to chase these monkeys away 
suddenly he noticed one gentle hand on his back he turned he found swami he was shocked and swami said to the sevadal person what are doing swami i am driving out all the monkeys <coughs> oh where are the monkeys swami said swami there are so monkeys no 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 the monkey is your mind it is within you try to drive out that monkey which is more important tame the monkey mind train the monkey mind master the mind so that you can be a master mind and then another boy said oh i see i am reminded of another uh, story that swami said what is it a demon granted a boon to a poor man the demon started sympathizing with this poor beggar well i i am literally touched and moved by your poverty i will do what all you can what all you want but you should ask me again and again you should give me continuously commands at a time when you stop asking me i'll kill you this beggar thought i won't stop asking i have many things to ask for so he went on asking and the demon started granting finally the whole list is exhausted a building comforts luxuries furniture over finally the demon said i will swallow you now come on ask me what you want the fellow ran away and fell at the feet of a yogi sir you should save my life the yogi said don't worry come on have a post here electric pole come on put it here ask the demon up down up down do it until further orders then it won't chase you said the yogi this is the story narrated by bhagwan similarly body is the electric pole up so down hum so hum repeat it continuously chant his name continuously until further orders that the liberation the thought that boy said another immediately another man said is it enough if you chant his name is it enough if you repeat his name the other boy says no 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 it is not enough if you repeat his name it is important to participate in his mission seva you should participate that's what you are all doing by sharing swami's message with everybody this is the greatest service i tell you the greatest service is to share baba's message with as many people as you can that's what we are doing that's why bhagwan has blessed our service activity this long that's what i believe in it and then started boy started narrating it was vibhishan of ramayan who always chants the name of ramachandra once vibhishan of faced hanuman the hanuman came and said vibhishan you are chanting name like me but you did not see ramachandra till now why you are chanting but you are not participating in the mission of ramachandra have you made an attempt to find out where sita is have you consoled sita till now though you know that she is here in lanka so vibhishana look here to have the vision of rama it is not enough if you chant it is equally important to participate in his mission that was the discussion then another boy said what kind of work shall we do for swami what work does he expect from us the other boy said baba will never go by quality he thinks of quantity quantity he thinks of the quality quantity is not at all important quantity is most important quality is most important a spoon of cow milk is enough 
by barrels of donkey milk useless your motive your intention your spirit they are more important than the quantity of service that's what baba said then another boy said oh my dear friend when you refer to the quality which is more important than quantity i am reminded of an incident that had happened at the time of construction of super speciality hospital here in puttaparthi funds were pouring in like anything from all corners of the world people are responding to the call of bhagwan listening to his message that the medical care is given free people responded from all over the world after some time one boy gave a letter to swami an envelope swami opened that envelope he read that letter written by the boy what is that letter swami i am washing my own clothes i am not putting my clothes to any washerman no therefore i am saving some money do be expenses i am saving and out of my small savings i am contributing to your water project swami said loudly look here this small amount is more important to me than crores and crores of amount rupees i am receiving from all over the world so it is the quality that is important and not the quantity as that boy had said and then there is a small drama enacted by the boys a small drama it was very interesting swami also enjoyed very much one boy said i am coming from heaven the other boy said oh how is everyone there very sorry god is not found there not found there god missing let the newspapers report god missing lost and found articles <coughs> and then another boy came and said not only god five elements are not there in heaven five elements so what happened to people there are no people at all are 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 nothing doing i see and there is one mountain uh, do you find there in heaven what mountain the mountain of gold called meru m e r u no sir it is also gone i see how would the army there number no army i see heaven is in hot hot waters heaven is in trouble snow then immediately another boy came and said don't worry my friends there are no flowers there in heaven why because of the following reasons god who is found missing there decided to shift his head of his to prachantinilayam <laughs> oh i see there are no clouds there in heaven why clouds have decided to be the crown the halo of hair on the head of god bhagwan said sai baba there is no moon there in heaven you cannot have moonlight because moon decided to be on the head of baba there is no mountain there the mountain decided to be small in its size and decided to be a mole on the cheek of baba today <laughs> there is no fire anywhere there in heaven the red robe he wears is a very fire on his body i have not found anjaneya maruti there 
in heaven because he wanted to be there in stadium there high in stature maruti also has shifted his headquarters everybody appreciated that small skit presented by students there was peals of laughter and claps all around now we switch on to another episode which took place on 14th of february year 2004 this is all uh, began with telugu poetic exposition but i selected certain things which will be of general use to everybody sai's name is so sacred and matchless the boy started speaking like that swami we lost our way in our life we lost our track we have lost the very meaning of life we are away from parents we are from long long distances we are caught by all fears mis misapprehensions worries and anxieties the flow of our life is met with number of obstacles on our way we are so weak swami at that moment you stepped into your life at that moment of desperation helpful helplessness you visited our lives you have touched our lives you are not only our father mother and god above all you are our only friend you are the best friend only friend swami we can never forget those moments when you have bestowed the love of a mother thousand mothers love on each every one of us when the worldly friendships are meaningless when friendship has no relevance at all in those times you stood by us as the real friends for me when we are feeling so sorry missing our mother you are there as thousand mothers in front of all swami when we think we are far off from the world you have become our world today you are the world to all of us swami bhagwan you are our breath you are our life you are our ambition you are everything swami that has been the prayer of one boy in telugu to begin with the second talk by a boy from karnataka is rendered in kannada language and i shall try to give you the english translation when the bond between hearts is getting diluted when the earth is being burned in sadness you are the one who has to flow your ganges of love i tell you to you o source of confidence when man is forgetting brotherhood and behaving like a demon when countries and religions are fighting because of jealousies envy pride and hatred when the world as a whole is drowned in the poison of chaos and confusion when the youth which is supposed to be the origin of inspiration and courage has gone out of its way to the darkness of ignorance and lack of the knowledge of the purpose of life and is like marching towards the burial ground in a procession when the great mother india considered to be the force for bringing for bringing oneness of humanity has been cut into pieces and fragments because 
ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఓన్ ఇగ్నోర్ అండ్ చిల్డ్రన్ స్వామి అదర్ దాన్ యూ హూ ఎల్స్ కెన్ బీ అవర్ హోప్ హూ పోర్డ్ వాటర్ అండ్ నరిష్ ద ట్రీ ఆన్ మౌంటైన్ టాప్ హూ లుక్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద బర్డ్స్ అండ్ యానిమల్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫారెస్ట్ స్వామి అదర్ దాన్ యూ who can be our guide master friend and light in the path of darkness therefore for all our prayers you are the way you are the aim you are the idol you are the inspiration you are the our supporter you are our foundation you are the teacher who taught us సత్య ధర్మ శాంతి ప్రేమ హింస హ్యూమన్ వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ భగవాన్ దట్ వాస్ ద థింగ్ దట్ హీ డిడ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ కన్నడ లాంగ్వేజ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ప్రెసెంటేషన్ బై మేడ్ బై అనదర్ స్టూడెంట్ ఇన్ హిందీ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఈజ్ నాట్ శ్రీ సత్య సాయి ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ హయర్ లర్నింగ్ higher education i'm sorry the name of the institute is not sri satya sai institute of higher education no but it is sri satya sai institute of higher learning what is this higher learning this institute gifted by swami not only provides secular knowledge par excellence but he has bestowed on us satya dharma shanti prema himsa which constitute the human values which are unavoidable for achieving world peace swami you have taught us the great dictum there is only one religion the religion of love there is only one language the language of the heart there is only one caste the caste of humanity swami in this institution each live for the other and all live for you all live for you swami you have promised to arjuna and humanity at large in bhagavad gita that we should all rely on you that we don't have to depend on anybody that you are our refuge swami bless us that each and every moment of our life be dedicated to you then our life would be redeemed this is the presentation by a student <coughs> another presentation by another student is in tamil i'm giving you the english version oh lord of lords we are dependent on you with the help of your name even a weak person will become strong people say that you are equivalent to crores of suns but lord sun burns the skin well you make us feel calm and serene people say that your love is equivalent to of thousand mothers but bhagwan not crores of suns not thousands of mothers but you are one not many and you the one is really unique people say that your leelas cannot be written are they your leelas swami no it is your life which is the message for all of us people say that we get lost by seeing your beautiful face but 
loving themselves where will be they where will be they lost no aren't we the reflection of your self swami how can we be lost we are your own reflection of your own beautiful face people say that you are the embodiment of all gods to say that we did not even see other gods how can you say that but we can surely say that we are yours and you are ours so much was heard and so much was said that nothing is left to listen and nothing i am able to understand to say maybe this only is sai but there's only one within the heart only one oh the supreme lord if you permit me can we say it then they all join in singing a telugu song written by bhagwan 60 years ago including the tune i'll try to give you english translation to the extent possible bhagwan composed this song oh devotees come here partake these sweets it was lord rama who redeemed the life of ahalya who was cursed to be a stone and lord made the stone come back to her life her original life god's name is sweeter than the coconut water and god's name is more valuable than all the gems diamonds all precious things in this world no law no king can grant you anything more than that of god's name in fact god granted bliss to birds monkeys and squirrels don't you think that he would bless you only thing you need to do is give up bad thoughts god will grant you good thoughts and god will atone you all your sins god will pardon all your sins come along here for take the sweets of sai name that was the song composed by bhagwan including the tune oh that's it that's the in brief the presentation made by students in different languages on 29th of february now i pass on to the presentation made by students on 10th of february 2004 the song is composed by students and they also tune that song it's in telugu i'll give you english meaning sai lord sai oh god sai you have showered love on us you have given you have shown compassion towards us oh lord you are our heart you are our life swami you have consoled us you have cajoled us you are the personification of all kindness and compassion you commanded us that we have to love all and serve all sai you are love love is sai sai is avatar of this kali age you are everything for us we pray that you guide us your lotus feet He is the only refuge for all of us o invela o lord sai the other poem composed by student in hindi i'll try to give you english translation a small one 
ओ लॉर्ड आवर लॉर्ड आवर गॉड विथ डीप एंड प्यूरेस्ट फीलिंग्स वी प्रे दैट यू फील आवर हार्ट विथ राइचियसनेस वी वर्शिप दी विथ राइजिंग होप्स then all of them joined in chorus singing a song in telugu written by bhagwan 60 years ago and he also tuned them those old time songs written by swami in telugu they are all available there in the cassettes in our book stall but you cannot enjoy it unless you know its english meaning yeah. i understand that uh, the book trust will be coming forward with english translation of these songs including the music part of it just as musicians will have different notes to play on piano and all that that's also in their preparation since i am in there a member in the book trust we reviewed the book and recommended it uh, so that all benef- devotees world over will be benefited well we have preview of everything because we are all here in this place we can have the information beforehand before the world will come to know later well this is the song in telugu which i will give it for your information in english oh lord sai you are our divine energy lead us to liberation many devotees in the past in troubles and turmoils could seek your help and be free from all their chains of bondage it was bhak devotee nandanar devotee sakubai devotee chagarazu they all prayed and they were all liberated by you bhagwan swami we are here because of the merit of our past lives that makes every one of us to chant your glory to chant and sing your matchless name time and again we are in your company lord swami bless us be with us swami you are so great compassionate that you are giving us darshan day in and day out we only pray to change our minds we pray that we will be free from the weaknesses of anger and attachment lord see that we are not pushed into darkness of illusion that's what it is and then followed another good ne- good song which says like this sai is love is so wonderful oh wonderful it is so high we can't get over it it is so deep we can't get under it it is so wide we can't uh, get around it oh wonderful love lord i offer my life to you everything i have been through use it for your glory lord i offer my days to you lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice lord i offer you my life and this song only four sentences written by swami you may be wondering why anil kumar laughs within himself you can be sure i am not yet mad <laughs> for the simple reason i know this language telugu being a person from this area i appreciate the literary beauty of it also besides its meaning the meaning is this we the devotees are extremely lucky to have baba's name which acts like a sword with which we can cut the anger lust greed to pieces and sai is name can control all the five senses and confer bliss to all of us 
and the whole sai's name speaks of the self which is nothing but the combination of five senses five elements five life sheets five life breaths five senses of cognition mind intellect and atma all these are embodied all these are encased encompassed by your matchless name o sai that's what it is then came another speaker yes how do you is it you like it yes. the boy or uh, or you feel it's not necessary i thought the boys compositions at that age you see what lofty prince what ideas they are they are not asking for worldly things they are still young by the time they grow quite older and get married they have a list of things to demand and ask for they are still young beautiful flowers of a garden blossoming with all the fragrance of virtue with all the beauty of surrender and dedication what did baba say after this you been talking to him what did he say about all this oh yeah you can read baba's feelings in two ways one verbal vocal second facial body language as far as my understanding is concerned is this subject to correction by you if you find it in a different way you are quite welcome to share with me supposing there is a song when it does like that tala it means he likes it very much when there is some speech going on when he stares at him when he starts laughing it means he likes it when there is no talam there beat there the music is so so <laughs> when he closes his eyes and just look somewhere else the speech is so 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 <laughs> these are some of the indications which i tell my boys also so that they will be careful because when once we make our presentation is most essential that god should be pleased when one god is pleased the whole world is pleased don't you think so and when god is displeased we are not bothered of the world at all so we should be constantly watching that's what i do you must have understood it you are not ordinary people i know you are also quite smart enough to know these uh, secrets of divinity <laughs> in its expression the other thing is vocal or oral expression he said very nice i am happy my boys i am happy very happy very nice very nice another thing is when those boys come he will pat at their back when he accepts to have group photographs with them it is an indication that the program is a grand success if he says we will see tomorrow it means program is so so and that tomorrow will never arise <laughs> i am good that krishna has put this question for the benefit of everybody these are the signs of divinity these are all, all the expressions of love in appreciation of the programs put up by children or distinguished guests from time to time in the uh, kulwant hall or anywhere for that matter and we shall read that right on the boy too uh, on birthday occasion uh, birthday occasion Well, it's irresp- it is irrespective of presentation on birthdays boys are permitted to bring with them that sacrificial rice and photographs he naturally bless them and sign their photographs it's a birthday boys you know the rice is special but he doesn't do that all the time he doesn't do it ah huh? yes everything is a bonus sir so let us not have any expectation whatever he does it good so far i am concerned i won't have any expectations if he talks to me very good swami if he don't talk to me i know that at least he will talk to me tomorrow 
<laughs> if you look at me, very good Swami. If you don't look at me, I am looking at you. That makes me more happy. If you don't grant me interview, I see those people who are granted in interview and I find myself in them. I really feel that. I am not making any speech here. I am telling you. There is no disappointment in life till now. <laughs> Why? Because when you are given interview, I feel I have got a due share, a legal share in your happiness. When Swami looks at you, well, I look at both of you. So my joy is double. Whereas a fellow with whom, I mean, at whom Swami looks, he is happy. When I look at both of you, my happiness is double. Don't you think so? That's how I really take it. I don't feel sorry. We feel sorry when we project our individuality. When we think at our individual self. Not necessary. Not necessary. When he gives a talk there in Sai Kolod Hall, we see him, we hear him, we sing that towards the end join, by joining bhajans. Three. Three words at one shot. See, hear and sing. What more you want? <laughs> Just a simple audio cassette. They charge about 50 rupees or 60 rupees. Only hearing. Video cassette only seeing 250 rupees. Whereas, seeing, hearing, singing with no charge. Free. So, cheap, very cheap. <laughs> so, oh, we are happy, happy, that's all. We are happy for everything. Because we have no preferences. We have no preferences. You said you were happier when he didn't give you an interview. Because he wouldn't, wouldn't bang you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and then we have no choices. <laughs> and uh, all right, you do it. Very good, you do it. Because, oh God, you are happy by talking to me today. Oh God, you are happy by avoiding me today. All right. I am making you happy on both these situations. Yes, I am always. Why not? Don't you think so? That's all I think. Okay. Avoiding is also a mark of a certain attention, isn't it? Yes, attention. Why? Because of ego. We want his attention, personal attention because of ego. What is it that seeks attention? Ego. What is it that suffers when attention is, is denied? Ego. What is it that jumps in joy when attention is given? Ego. What is it that makes uh, everybody to declare loudly that he received attention, that is the only fellow in this incarnation who has drawn his attention? Ego. <laughs> and the aim of spirituality is to kill the ego. So, by avoiding you, he is giving you a better treatment. Because you are not helping yourself to kill your ego. He is killing the, your ego. So he is serving you that way. He is serving, he is helping you that way. Therefore, by talking to you, what does he talk about? He talks to you to avoid ego, to kill your ego. That is what he talks about. By avoiding you, your ego gets killed naturally on its own. In both the ways, we have to lose our ego. Tell me. That, that has been my experience for the last 30 years. I was successfully avoided for 7 years. Totally. But I have not stopped coming here and I didn't cry before everybody. I didn't make this world miserable. Alright, if not this life, you will talk to me next life. Please believe me, sir. One day he asked Anil Kumar, what do you want? What do you want? I said, Swami, what is it that you have not given me till now without asking? Why should I ask? Without asking, you have given everything. Why should I ask? I know 
that i am in front of god who knows what to give and what not to give why to give when to give i am happy i don't want and another time long back in bangalore when i was there he asked somebody was speaking about moksha liberation sir anil kumar you want moksha <laughs> i said son i don't want everybody like you don't want useless fellow will everybody is were praying for the why don't you want i said swami i don't know about others i am speaking about myself i don't know what moksha is how it looks is it very beautiful or ugly <laughs> is it sweet or hot tall or short eastern or western how 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 is it what is it why do i want it i do not know and no fellow returned from moksha and reported to me alikumar it's so beautiful please join me there nobody reported so instead of desiring that i do not know i have only one desire because i know the taste of it you can desire that which you know already how can you desire that you do not know foolish so i desire only that because i know the taste of it is it what is it spreading your message spreading your message everywhere to small groups and big groups as many times as possible as long as possible till my last breath if you are kind enough next life also <laughs> Yes, because I know what it is by sharing the message. What is one of that? So, my friends, okay, this is all aside. You know, coming back to the tenth of February session. Uh, this is what composition of a student. Just I'll render into English and give you. Oh, ma, ma means mother. We know. that there is no thank you for mother's love so all that we can say today is that we love you swami we live for you on this very special occasion we your children as an expression of our heartfelt gratitude for all that you have done for us offer at your lotus feet these songs of love and happiness they say school days are the happiest in one's life but when our school days are with swami they become not only the happiest but also the holiest when the lord seem to be when the world seemed to be a playground and the meaning of life was fun and frolic and all i could think of was play it was at this time i saw a light and as i grew this light with this light with me guiding guarding me throughout Swami you are that light of my life you have been there to hold my hand to show me the way and make me walk along with your footsteps footsteps walking with me footsteps i cannot see for every move i make and every step i take i know they are there with me swami from the first day in my first standard till today in my 12th standard you can guess truly is the swami the joy and happiness and love you have showered upon me cannot be expressed it can only be experienced and not even once in my stay with you for all these 12 years have i felt 
that I was away from home, for I regard you as my mother, father, and everything. The next composition is in Telugu. I'll bring you to your note and attention. The highlights in English. Swami, your love is beyond the language of expression. Your love beyond is beyond all estimates, all measure. The drops of nectarine love, the moonlight of your light, is beyond words. Swami, let me narrate an incident. What had happened to a 11th class student? That 11th class boy was suffering from arthritis, acute pain in the legs and the joints. The pain was so excruciating that he could not come even for darshan. After some days, with great difficulty, he came here for darshan. And you, Bhagavan, after compassionate love, walked straight to him. And the boy said, Swami, this is my problem. And you said, Swami, with all love, Boy, why did you not tell me all these days, my child? Why did you keep quiet till this long? That boy felt as though he had an immediate relief just and then itself. Swami, I have a question to ask. Who taught you the lesson of love? Who gave you the looks of love, Swami? Who taught you? Who gave you that power to draw the whole world towards you, Swami? What is the secret behind the light that passes into our body by your gentle look, Bhagavan? We wonder. And the boy narrated another incident. This boy, when Swami said, Why did you not report to me earlier about your problem? Was so happy and said, Swami, give me some prasadam, Swami. Bhagavan immediately materialized Vibhuti and gave him some extra packets also. This may be small incident. But the boy was suffering from this joint pains, acute arthritis for 30 days. But Vibhuti gave him immediate cure. Swami, what words I have. What else can I give you when everything belongs to you, Swami? What should I ask when everything you have given me? What should I tell you when you know everything, Swami? All our praises for you. Swami, your beautiful darshan left footprints on the sands of our mind. Your beautiful bewitching magnetic beautiful smile has left their indelible impressions on our heart. Your sweet and gentle talk will be remembered in our breath, day in and day out, Swami. We are your servants, Bhagawan. We are all the recipients of your love, Swami. Your gentle look is like Veena, a beautiful instrument played in our hearts. Swami, your Beautiful eyes are the tunes of our hymns of life. And in fact, Swami, your hair that moves along the movement of the wind is really the wind that sustains our life, Swami. What a beautiful smile. The smile is so beautiful as the chain of pearls like a necklace, Swami. We pray that you be with us throughout our life. 
The next was one was rendered in Hindi, which I give you in English. What is it in him that brings tears out of my eyes every time I think of him with love? What is it in him that fills my heart with joy and expectation every time the darshan music is put on? What is it in him that fills and overwhelms me every time I see him? What is it in him that has pulled me towards him like a magnet? It is nothing else but his never-ending love. Our loving mother, Sai, showers us with grace and paints us anew with love. And we are the fortunate ones. We are the roses present in this garden. We are his humble children. Even though he is the king of the world, comes down to our level and speaks to us. However big our mistakes may be, he forgives us with a smile. This happened last year when I was in my 11th standard. I remember Bhagawan had not been speaking to us quite for some time because we hear that he was upset with us for some reason in those days. After sports day, we tried every attempt to draw his attention. One day we started singing, but our good Lord went to straight to his interview room and did not come out. We started crying, we went on singing, but no signs of grace are forgiving. But suddenly the warden was summoned. He went into, into the interview room and warden came joyfully, stood in our midst and announced, Boys, don't cry. Swami will be visiting our hostel tomorrow. That made everybody jump in joy that we forgot all our suffering, suffering till then. Swami, that was your response. <coughs> then another speech made in Hindi this is translation English when we left our mother's hand and came here we knew you were there to hold when we left our playthings and came here we knew that you were there to play with us when we were alone and depressed at times, we knew you were there to console us. When we were filled with joy and happiness, we knew you, will, you were there, the one responsible. For every single step of ours, we found footsteps next to us and knew they were yours. For every single shortcoming of ours, there was someone correcting us always and we knew that it was you. When the world thought, thought, Baba, black sheep, it was you who initiated us with the Vedas. When the, when the world posed many challenges in front of us, you helped us to overcome them. If a small bud blooms, into a beautiful flower, the credit goes to the gardener who nurtured it all its life. If a small calf grows into a healthy one, the credit goes to the mother who cared it for all its life. Dear Lord, if we are what we are today, it is because we have studied under your care and have grown under your nourishment. And most importantly, we are your children, Swami, for all the support you have given us, directly and indirectly, we like to say our hearts beat for you. A small poem rendered by a small child 
our 11th class in Telugu. We are so happy, Swami, we could have your name. We cut to pieces all our animal qualities with the sword of your matchless name. We are very fortunate. Oh God, your name is so beautiful like a rainbow. It is infinite. It is of fathomless depths of ocean. It confers peace and bliss. It is really more fragrant than jasmine flowers. It is tastier than cheese. It is more beautiful than the eye of a peacock. It is more beautiful than moonlight. It is more tasteful than the love of a mother. So soft, so tender, Swami. This boy said with tears, Swami, I never saw my wife. My, sorry, I never saw my mother. Extremely sorry. I never saw my mother. She died soon after my birth. I never saw her, Swami. But I have seen my mother in you all these years. You are my mother. I lost my physical mother. But you are my mother, Swami. I could receive all my mother's love from you. You are my life. And hence, I dedicate my life unto you. Bhagavan, you are the tree. I am the creeper, Swami. You are the flower and I am the honeybee. You are the sky, I am the star. You are the ocean and I am the wave. You are the mountain and the waterfall, Swami. You and I are inseparable. You and I are one. That is the composition. The next one was in Tamil and I'll give you English version. Swami, we are your children. You are our mother, God mother. My mother gave birth to me. They fed me and my mother sung lullabies. Whereas this very mother, Sai mother, brought me up. You gave us love and blessings, behavior and studies. You gave us grace, conferred grace, gave us all worldly things, devotion and strength. This is the way you brought us up. Not simply giving bath, not simply giving us food. Ah, how fortunate we are. You gave us the mind which thinks only of you and you alone. We sing, we sing in praise of you. We speak about you only, Swami. Our hearts pray only to you, loves only you, to this mother, God mother. How can we express our gratitude? Ah, a voice speaks in my heart. Yes, what is it? That we all live for you. That we love you, Bhagawan. We live for you. A mother feels happy when she begets a child. But she will feel much more happy when she hears that the world calls her son a noble son. Yes, today let us take an oath. Let us take care and protect our parents. Let us make our parents happy. This is our Sai Mother's command, God Mother's command, a loving command. But we will never forget one thing. We will not forget what Baba said, what our mother said. We will not even forget your sound, Swami, your sweet lips, your sweet words we will never forget, Swami, forever and ever. That was his composition. And then comes the English composition by another student. That's what he said. Swami, tears rolled by, time has passed. People have changed. World has changed. 
everything has changed but for me lord you remained unchanged you remained unchanged those tender footsteps those compassionate looks those touching words those innocent questions what did you eat in the breakfast how many spoons of sweet you ate how big was chapati those questions never changed everything remained the same oh lord my god you nourished us you nurtured me you shaped me you sculptured me you designed us you caressed us you loved us and most important lord you cherished us you mean to us much more than a father much more than a mother brother sister teacher anybody for that matter lord only you can equal yourself yes lord only you can equal yourself you have shown it to us many times i shall re- recollect one instance once it so happened that prasadam distribution was going on and suddenly swami went up to a boy and asked him whether he got prasadam the boy said no swami bhagwan immediately said your brothers may forget you but your mother will never forget you i know that you have not received prasadam come on take it that's what baba said if we are what we are today it's all because of you swami it's all because of your unconditional love and grace bless us and keep us with you always that is his prayer that we stand tall and proud today it is you who has made us climb the highest peak and you were the one who walked in and when the world walked out when the world walked out of us you walked without with us swami you were the one who suffered for us it was you who picked me when i fell sick and said you are mine nothing can happen to you without my will ba swami swami you are the one who put the light into our hearts that make us go on and on we are like violin and you are the musician it is only when you take us in your arms and play a melody that a masterpiece is created we are whatever we are because of you and we are our lives to, we owe our lives to you swami once it so happened that when bhagwan had come out for darshan approached a boy and said what will you do for me that was a question put by bhagwan to one boy what will you do for me the boy said swami i will do anything for you i will even die for you swami turned back at that boy and said something that will ring in our ears forever and ever what did baba say my son i don't want you to die for me i want you to live for me not die for me swami we are yours make us like the hanumans of rama and arjuna of krishna one student has put a question bhagwan my cousin went round several places several pilgrim centers visited many gurus and many ashrams but he could find peace and happiness here only please comment the answer is this because he went round because he moved along the roads he came to the road where it ends the road ended here this is the fruit of all his search 
naturally finds peace and bliss nothing wrong nothing strange about it the second question how is it that people have experiences and others do not why the answer is simple you are not sufficiently mature your heart is not full of love your mind has become a doubting thomas so you are not experiencing next how and why i feel at times that i am weak that i cannot achieve anything worthwhile in life like my friends the answer it is so simple it is your psychological weakness it is your hysteria it is your monkey mind when others could achieve why not you with god's name you can achieve better things in life than all your friends that is the answer i want to do one thing but my parents insist that i should do something else what should i do the answer do according to your parents you do not know what you are supposed to do your parents are elderly people they are selfless they know what you should do because your life is not for you alone your life is for your parents for your family for your country for society and for god you are not living for yourself know the priority and decide next question when desires are not to be entertained is it anything wrong to desire to see you swami with a smile answer comes nothing wrong because to see swami is not a desire because you and swami are one next question i have no friends in this world what shall i do no why do you say that the other friends may leave you some day or other even in a day of 24 hours the friend can't be with you throughout but there is one friend who is always in you with you that is god that friend is enough why do you need other friends yes these are the questions i had which i wanted to share with you if i have anything i'll let you know later thank you very much because when i was witnessing all the programs happening there i was doubting whether this message would reach everybody or not and i also wanted to share this with everybody the reason is as a devotee we will be wonder struck to see this dimension of swami how he is how he is influencing young people how he is influencing children what wonderful sentiments feelings have been coming as a sort of reflection as a matter of reaction and result this dimension of swami influencing children and youth of this country is a very very important facet of divinity which i am sure as devotees we are interested to know it is with this intention i have decided to share them with you thank you for your for your time and your company hope you all have enjoyed it thank you very much thank you.